magnetic flux can be opposed here, increase in magnetic flux simply can be opposed if the induced magnetic field is out of the plane of the paper that is the outward to the plane of this board here. So, the direction of current for that, that should be here anti clockwise. So, if the direction of current is anti clockwise in the loop 1, so the magnetic field due to induced current will be by using the right hand thumb rule that will be outward and already the magnetic field present that is into the plane or that is the inward to the plane. So, because of this induced current increase in magnetic flux is opposed here. So, the induced current will indu may will produce the magnetic field which is outward and that is opposite to the actually increase in magnetic flux. So, that is according to the, that is here the direction of the current in the loop that is here anti clockwise direction we have used here Lenz's law to explain. Similarly, we can take over here when this loop is coming out of this magnetic field there is a decrease in magnetic flux. When the magnetic flux is decreasing here in this case direction of current or the current will be induced in such a way which will oppose the decrease in magnetic flux. It means because of that movement of this loop out of the magnetic field magnetic field will be produced in such a way which is trying to increase the magnetic flux or the mag increase the magnetic field of the net magnetic field. So, see here it is going outward flux is decreasing. So, the direction of current if you are taking here the clockwise like this then also the magnetic field due to the induced current is into the plane that is supporting to actually the magnetic field already present by this way magnetic flux will be increasing due to induced current. So, in this case the direction of current is clockwise that is from A B C A B and here the direction of current is induced current is anti clockwise. Now, say uh, we can also use here the Fleming's right hand rule to decide the direction of current, but it is better to explain by using the Lenz's law. See here Fleming's right hand rule is if you take the forefinger, forefinger, center finger and thumb of the right hand in such a way all are stretched perpendicular to each other thumb points in the direction of the motion of the conductor forefinger point in the direction of the magnetic field then the center finger will show the direction of the induced current. So, we can also use this law or that is a this rule Fleming's right hand rule to decide the direction of current. So, this is the question based on the Lenz's law and how to decide direction of induced current.